Hi and welcome back to another episode from Flying Eye Studios. In this tutorial we are going to make an animation in Adobe Flash Professional using the Motion Twin. So I have already animated my character and my back background. I used the brush tool and the paint bucket tool to make this simple uh, simple animation or this simple uh, well this simple character. So if you are more serious and want make a more detailed character, for example, I su suggest that you use uh, Photoshop uh, to animate and then import it to Flash. Uh, but yeah, so the first step is, or well, as you can see, we have a background layer where I made my free brushes. I have uh, pressed Q to have free transform uh, because I will use it later. If you wonder why uh, the free transform is uh, activated and I will lock the background layer so I will be not be, di be disturbed later on when I animate uh, and anim make the animation and as you can see I have a, a layer for each body part I have uh, well I have a, or for the hand for the legs for the body part for the head or well for the head and uh, uh, the recent why I made this is because I will move, be moving every body part when I made the animation. So I will uh, be getting a pretty realistic uh, walking animation. So the first step is I'm going to convert every layer to a symbol. So I'm going to press head, uh, the first layer I have, I have and press F8 or I can go to modify convert symbol. I'm pressing F8, pressing OK at each layer and while I move and what the reason that I'm making these symbols is because I will be uh, because I will be moving these symbols in the animation so as you can see we are getting these white dots in each in each layer and I will be dragging these white dots as far so it connects with the uh, nearest body part and I'm going to do this with every layer or symbol and the reason is well I can show you why I'm even doing this I have not moved this right now and I will be uh, I have pressed Q so I have free transform activated and as you can see it, it only circles circle around the white dot so I will be moving the white dot to the end of the arm and as you can see I have much easier to make the animation by doing this way so oops fail all right so now I have uh, the white dots connected to each body part and the next step is to uh, create the motion twin so I'm going to uh, I'm going to first decide how long the frame, uh, the animation will be. I think 110 frames will be far, will be good. So I insert insert keyframe, I right click and insert keyframe, and I'm going to drag uh, just up and right click and create motion twin and press OK. So, and this blue. Uh, this blue line represents the motion twin. And as you can see, the background is not a motion twin because it should be static. I will not not be doing something with the background. And the first step is I'm going to make uh, I'm going to drag from 15 uh, the 15 fr 15 frame. I right click insert keyframe position. I'm going to drag my whole character a bit on the way. And right now I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to press shift so I can activate both the leg and the foot. I'm going to just, uh, well as you can see I'm just <laughs> uh, dragging it. And well as you can see this is extremely time consuming. So I will be not be so 
uh, serious about it later. Oops, the head can stay where it wa was. So I'm going to do the same thing later. A bit more. Well, I will do the same thing in the whole animation actually. <laughs> so I just drag a bit on the way. I can move. Ah, crap. I can move the foot a bit. Yes, we get some new. Uh, no. Ah, fail. Yeah. Yes, I get some new uh, moves. Oh, come on. Alright. I'm too stressed trying to do this fast. But, well, it never works. It never works. So, I'm doing the same thing again. Right click, insert keyframe. No, that was one too much. Insert keyframe position. I just move it. Oops. Well, all this animation you are going to do is really time consuming, actually. But well, it, it is pretty funny when you're doing it actually. So, I'm just going to keep doing this. Insert keyframe position. I just drag it. I will have some, it looks like it's running a bit anyway. Oops. No. Insert keyframe position, and we're going to just drag it him out from the scene. So, as you can see, uh, we have this purple line following him. That rep represent that he's been uh, that he's going from this point all this to this point. So if I'm pressing control enter you will see the animation going. And well this is the simple animation we just created. And uh, well I hope you learned something new. And uh, well I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions about this uh, animation just leave them below, comment below. And uh, if you enjoyed it please follow me. Uh, it will be awesome awesome if you did and well i hope you i hope uh, i see you soon have a great time